Hey guys, it's me Orange Bear and I'm making this guide to help you new Zac players out there. I'm telling you guys what you need to do in order to be the best and toughest rhino in the zoo. Make everybody know your speeches. So let's get straight into that. First off, we're going to start with what our weapon traits are going to be. So for spear, you're going to max range first, then cooldown reduction. For bomb, you're going to max range first, then radius, or you can do radius, then cooldown reduction. As with a tank, you don't really need that distance too much as he already has a naturally long range. I just like to add that extra range, but mainly that radius does help a lot, a lot on Zack, allowing you to do that massive damage. Okay, another thing here, you're going to have for shotgun. You're going to do range first, then you're going to do cooldown reduction. As you always want to get as much range as possible when you have an extra ammo shotgun, and the more times it has a cooldown reduction is the better, so you can use that gun more often, especially with this great tough tank. Okay, so let's now move into the items you're going to need. So for items, I'm going to start with the basic items. You're going to use jungle shoes, holy sandals, bandages, then for your fourth item, you can use Cluster Bomb or Adrenaline Shot. Now, to be honest with you, Adrenaline Shot isn't really needed on Zack because he's just so tough. You're not going to be destroyed in one shot. He's a lot like the way Bruce plays with his beefiness, but a lot faster and a lot more agile. For your S-Tier items, however, which your S-Tier, let me tell you, is going to be between your Pheromone and Muscles, you're going to want to use Muscles. Now, out of all the tanks in the game, I believe Zack is the number one to use Muscles with. He is super powerful. and he, It increases his strength. It increases everything about him. He feels harder. He feels beefier. Like with Bruce, one of his main issues with Muscle is the fact that, you know, you're kind of slow. You can't get to enemies. It, it's a big problem with Bruce. So having Muscles is okay, not the best. But with Zack, because you're beefy fast and you have that amazing active you're able to get in there and do some massive damage especially if you get the right opener with your charge you can literally one shot them if you hit a wall okay so now that those two things are covered I'm gonna give you the best tips to play Zach so number one what you're gonna want to do is make sure you get accustomed to using your charge your charge is the most important thing with Zach since he's not slow like a lot of the other techs he's actually pretty fast Having this charge is very useful. If you can knock somebody in a wall, you will do so much damage. It will be literally half their health if they're a squishy character. And if you have muscles, you could basically one shot them. You'll see a lot of those clips here on screen. Another thing you want to learn is, which is number two on this tip guide here, when it comes to his charge, you're going to want to know when to use it to push people in the water and when to use it to keep people on land. Like there have been certain scenarios where I will literally have holy sandals equipped and I'm like, okay, you know what? I want to get this guy down and I know he doesn't have holy sandals so I ram him straight into the water and I'm walking on water just doing tons of damage and by then my charge is back up and I literally push him into a wall and he blows up. Okay, for tip number three, what you need to remember is this is how your opener really is going to be. So you're going to charge into somebody and you're instantly going to unload your gunshots as soon as possible. That's the first weapon you're going to choose, your gun. After that, you'll probably throw your bomb and maybe your spear if you if that person is still alive, to be honest. Probably not going to be. And if he is, you run away with it and you throw that spear. But the bomb is also very good when you're using to kite back. So you're running back and you're kiting or you're just chasing somebody and you're throwing your bomb. Your bomb's pretty, pretty good when it comes to Zack. It's not like how it is on Buck or Bruce. It's similar to Buck, but it's not exactly like it. It feels different. It feels new. Another thing to know about Zack when it comes to going against players such as Nyx, which most people struggle with, or Nyx 2.0 called Max, the greatest raccoon in the zoo, you're going to easily be able to close these gaps. Even against the Jade who's running away, your charge is so useful and you're not a slow character. So even when your charge is done, you're still able to keep up with them. You're not slow like Bruce or Quinn. You're pretty fast and you have this amazing active. When you catch them, they're not going to be able to do anything, which is perfect. And you open with that gun opener you're going to be able to take them out another thing i want you guys to understand when it comes to zach is don't be afraid to engage zach is such a beefy character you don't have to worry especially if you have bandages equipped you can take a lot of damage without it being a problem so remember when you're playing zach you're going to want to engage don't always wait for them to engage you literally are a tough rhino you charge at them and take them out there's not too much strategy when it comes to him especially if you're playing in team play you engage. Don't even worry about it. You engage and slam people into the wall on your team. If they're good enough, they're going to easily be able to concave and destroy enemy teams. No problem. Because your job is to be a tank. You don't be a gatekeeper. It's not like when you're playing Buck or Bruce where you're a gatekeeper for your team. You sometimes engage, but you really just protect your team. When it comes to Zack, you engage. You go in and destroy your enemies. And that's basically how you play Zack, the awesome Rhino. Now remember guys, I may not know everything in Zuba, so if I missed anything or you learned anything new, please leave it in the comment section below to help you and your fellow viewers. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!